to send things over to our alert center where we find News 12's Kevin VC. Kevin, a longtime Long Island lawmaker is now urging other lawmakers on both sides of the aisle to find a compromise on gun legislation. You spoke with him tonight. So what was it that he was telling you? Yeah, Mackenzie, we spoke with uh, former Republican Seaford Congressman Peter King today. He said it's time for Democrats and Republicans to stop the political posturing, come together and find some common grounds to some common ground to save lives. And this is being talked about both on the federal and the state level, as you can see right here. So today, Congressman King, he made this lengthy post to Facebook right here. You can see it. We pulled it for you and he wrote right on the bottom there, forget political talking points, get the job done. And he laid out what he wants Democrats and Republicans to do, including something not many members of his own party have shown support for. I think Republicans have to realize that there should be a ban on assault weapons. Former Republican Congressman Peter King proposing a nationwide ban on AR-15 style assault rifles, the same weapons used in some of our nation's deadliest mass shootings, including Texas, Buffalo, Parkland, Las Vegas, and Sandy Hook. In return, he says Democrats need to let law enforcement do their jobs. We have to go about hardening the schools, making sure that uh, the police are properly trained in all those schools, and also the Democrats to realize that there are more kids, innocent kids, killed on the streets of New York and Philadelphia and Chicago than there are in these mass murders. We have to go forwards, and if Peter King is the beginning of going forward, then my hat's off to him. Dix Hill's gun safety advocate Linda Beagle Schulman, who lost her son Scott Beagle in the Parkland shooting, says current members of Congress need to find common ground. Meet in the middle. It doesn't hurt anybody to meet in the middle. The, the left has to give, the right has to give, and there we are, and everybody wins. We need to have a multifaceted approach to stop these problems. Andy Chernoff at Coliseum Gun Traders in Uniondale agrees compromise is needed, but he would not support an assault weapons ban, even though his store does not sell AR-15 style rifles, except to law enforcement. I don't think it's going to matter because um, the backside of this whole thing is, and people want to ban guns. You say, how about a, how about a ban? What are you going to do with all those guns that are already out there? And lawmakers from both parties on Capitol Hill are working right now on gun safety compromises. So we have this tweet here from Chris Murphy. He's a Democrat from Connecticut. He wrote that today a group of eight bipartisan senators met to continue negotiations on a gun violence bill that he hopes can get broad bipartisan support. And meanwhile, we tried today to speak with Andrew Garbarino, that's Peter King's successor, about his stance on all of these issues, but he would not speak with us. We're going to see how he votes when these matters come up for a vote in the House.